Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chidi, um, Cadet Manion, a member of the African Action Congress and the governorship candidate for Enugu State. Um, I had to just do this flash broadcast just to help clear the air on what is going on with um, Delta State. Okay. Um, this is a video that you you you're gonna have to make reference to after after this this, this broadcast. That's why I didn't have time to advertise it. Um, there's been an accident in Delta State. Um, it is feared that we may have lost some members of uh, the African Action Congress in Delta State. And the reason why I'm doing this video is so that we we try to let people know the true facts about the situation. Um, they they had gone out for an outreach uh, under the African Action Congress, and uh, on their way back, their their vehicle um, plunged into into the river. Uh, at a very bad spot on that road and a lot of accidents have been happening on that road. Um, the reason why we are really touched is because these are young people. Um, these, are, these are heroes of our time because AAC was established to try to, to address the, the wrongs in our country and these young men went out um, on this mission to try to um, mobilize, to try to sensitize uh, people, uh, you know, for the African Action Congress. So it was in this, in the light of this, that they um, had this accident, okay? We don't want anybody to politicize this. We see them as heroes. Um, we will not allow um, the, their efforts to be in vain. It, we will continue to to we will continue this work that they that they were doing. We will be more resolved to to continue to highlight the evils of uh, uh, the government in power. We will strengthen our resolve. We will strengthen our efforts. We will not let them down, uh, if if anything, because they 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 met uh, the end of their lives doing this job. Now we are also careful about you know um, the way we are handling this news because more clarification is still coming from from the location. Um, their, their vehicle plunged into the sea. The, 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 all the bodies have not been recovered or identified, but people already started um, saying that, uh, you know, the, the AAC is not saying anything about this accident. The reason is because AAC was trying to make sure that they have the the true facts but you know how social media is people are already posting information out there and making it look like the AAC is not doing anything so AAC had to come out with a release and this release will be updated from time to time um the uh, the, the the presidential candidate of AAC and the chairman of the party Amoyele Shaw Ray is out in Australia uh, meeting uh, Nigerians living in Australia. And from there, he had released a, um, a statement concerning this incident. Yeah, Apostle 17, thank you. Um, we need to all put it out there. Anybody who has um, a, a media platform and who is a friend of the African Action Congress, we need to... Um, we need to reach out in whatever way we can and assist the African Action Congress in Delta State. They are going through a hard time right now 
especially since the bodies of these our three comrades have not been recovered. You see, that's when we begin to know that what we are doing is a serious matter. You know, it is not easy. This is these are the sacrifices that um, young people are making to try to see that their country becomes a better place. I was really sad about this incident. It, it pains me in my heart. I, I, Delta State is so vibrant. They are, they are so, they are so committed to this, to this struggle. They came out in large numbers at a convention in Lagos, and um, they participated very, very well. Please, please, please. I don't want anybody to spread any any rumors out there that are not true concerning the incident concerning the reaction of uh, the leadership of the african action congress concerning the membership of african action congress i understand some of them their families have not found out what happened but um notwithstanding we still had to release the aac leadership has to release something uh, um but, based on their knowledge of the situation based on the information that they have so far and so please um if anybody has any information about it i would um i would ask that you direct it to the aac leadership that you direct it to the african action congress leadership in delta state if you have any information regarding the the bodies of our comrades who are who we're still looking for who um who were involved in that accident who went down into the river when that uh when that truck went to the river if you have any information regarding that please let us know let us know it's a very sad moment for aac right now um the presidential candidate has ordered that every money that is raised within the next 24 hours um, under his uh, campaign platform, the Amoyele Shore 2019 campaign should be directed to helping um, um, the families of these people and trying to sort out what happened uh, with them. I think I am not very sure, but we will update you as time goes on. But there might be a GoFundMe um, campaign put up specifically for this um for this for this um incident but like i said we'll keep you updated let us be very careful about what we post out there let us get verification you can go and google uh, african action congress uh, party online uh send messages to our website and find us out on on uh, on facebook on twitter somebody will get back to you but please 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 let's keep them in our thoughts let us pray for the african action congress in delta states uh, this is the first time we're experiencing something of this magnitude as you all know we're a very young party and uh, most of our membership are young nigerians and um it, things are already very hard for nigerians especially young people who make about 75 percent of our population um they're already going through hard times they're already um, not finding things easy and that is what is motivating them to belong to to our part to our party and do what they do so in the course of uh fighting for 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 good life for our people and they they meet they, they meet with this kind of uh tragedy you can't help but just feel sad so we are all saddened about this um first man idiahi thank you so much for posting the the release from from uh from our, our leadership um the presidential candidates and the convener of take it back movement Omoyele Shaore. if you read that release there that is the official position of uh of of the party so you can read it and know where we where we stand like we said we had to put out that 
we will update the information as we get more facts online there are pictures of the of the suv being pulled out of the the river on the bridge um we had survivors and then we have people that are presumed dead for now until um we get contrary information uh, we will keep you all updated but it's a very very sad day and the african action congress family very sad day for us very sad day for nigerian youths um because these guys are heroes as far as we're concerned because we lost them um as gallant soldiers fighting for the betterment of this country you see aac is all about young people trying to um to shape their future the future of Nigeria, it, it is about young people, you know, um, opting to be architects of their future, not waiting to just see uh, people, uh, a, a certain group of people, a certain caliber of people run Nigeria like it is their private property and continuously uh, plunge us into untold hardship. You know, this is what AAC is all about. So these young men were also about this um, this duty, uh, trying to mobilize the grassroots, trying to spread the message of AAC, and um, they met with this tragedy. It is very, very unfortunate. We are all very sad about it. Um, James Aporero Sr., thank you so much for coming on. Uh, I know you're from Delta State. We feel so sad about what is going on. Uh, we sympathize with everybody who is from Delta State because this is a loss for the whole state and especially uh, members of the African Action Congress uh, family. Um, these three people that we suspect have lost their lives in this accident, uh, our, our prayers and our sympathy goes to their families. Please continue to pray for us all. It is a very sad day, very, very sad day. We'll keep you updated. Uh, that is the truth about the situation. Um, um, the police is still investigating. They are still searching for the bodies of these uh, comrades. But um, right now they are presumed dead. But like I said, we will keep you updated. They were coming back from an outreach and then their, their car plunged into the river and we understand it was caused by a uh, bad road condition. And this is just what we get in Nigeria. But I won't want to go into details about um, the real cause of the accident. We will wait for the investigation and more details from those people who were there when it happened and some of the survivors. But the reason why we're putting out this, I am not the official spokesperson for the African Action Congress. We have a media department. Uh, this is just like um, something I'm doing on the side to because it's important that we put out the truth. We put the truth out there. Uh, they have requested that anybody who can should help to spread this information because we all know what social media is. We all know how we have enemies in this struggle. And we know how our enemies can take a story and twist it around for their own uh, evil uh, gain or for their own evil purposes. So it is very important that we put out our story out there and we tell it the way it is so that when these people come out with, with their fake news, when they try to use this news against us or against what we are doing, we'll be able to... Um, uh, counter them with the the reality of um of the of the story so please continue to pray for for the african action congress in uh, in delta state um it's just very sad it's 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 just very sad you know it's sad enough that um Young people are going through so much in the country and then something like this happens. It's so sad. 
and the and the fact that I hear it, it happened on on a, on a part of the road where a lot of accidents have happened before, it it just tells the the the, the sad Nigerian story over and over again. Um, very sad, very very sad indeed. Okay, uh, you guys can scroll back. Let me actually let me pin this this up and um, yeah it, what I've just pinned up now is the the information um, regarding the, 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 the incident this is the the release by uh, by the presidential candidates of AAC Omoyele Shore so anyway guys that's why i came on i just had to quickly do this please help us spread this around so people will know exactly what happened the aac is on this we are concerned about it we are reaching out to the family we are raising money and um we'll continue to do this in the next 24 hours and beyond this is just like an immediate um response to what is going on but there will be more uh detailed uh, responses on a larger scale concerning this. So, um, my name is Dr. Chidi Kadat Mayam, uh, the, the governorship candidate for Enugu State. And thank you so much for listening to this broadcast. Bye bye.